Hello, my name is Christopher Height, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to put grip tape on your skateboard. I'm going to be teaching you two separate ways of gripping your skateboard, and my goal here is to teach you the safest and most effective way to put your grip tape on your skateboard. The first way I'm going to be teaching you is how to put a normal sheet without any cuts on top of your skateboard and cut around it and make it perfect. The second way that I'm going to teach you is a little bit more creative, and it is when I cut these out right here into squares and mismatch them and put them wherever I want on my board, thus making it a little bit more custom. Let's start with the first example, which is taking a skateboard with a non-cut up sheet of grip tape, applying it to the top and cutting around. For this, all you're going to need is a razor blade and a skateboard tool. I prefer to use a box cutter, and the reason I prefer to use a box cutter is because I feel like there's more grip on it, it feels a little bit more safe, and uh, yeah, but if you don't wanna use a box cutter, you can just use the razor blade. However, if you are very young, don't, don't do that by yourself. Ask a parent, a guardian, or maybe even your skate shop, they will do it for you. But if you're watching this video, you probably wanna to try to do it yourself. Please be careful if you're doing this, please. Now, the reason you will need a skateboard tool is to obviously take apart your board, and most skateboard tools will have a sander at the top. And if you don't have a skateboard tool with a sander at the top, you can use a regular sander, or in this case, you can also use a skateboard truck as a sander. So if you already have trucks, just use any truck and you can sand the sides with this truck. It doesn't matter what type of skateboard grip tape you get. You can get Jessup, Mini Logo, Mob, all different types. Today I have Mob specifically because uh, I really like Mob. I think it is the grippiest grip tape. It really helps, especially when skating ramps. So I'm going to be using a sheet of Mob grip tape. Now, if you're wondering about this custom, I actually made this myself, uh, but most grip tapes will just be all black and you can also buy ones with different graphics and logos on them. But uh, this example I actually made with spray paint. First thing you wanna do is you want to find one of these corners. You want to use your fingernail and you wanna pull into it and right there it will peel off. Now, while you're peeling off, be very, very careful on the edges not to put your fingers on this uh, sticky part because it is extremely sticky and one, once it is applied to the board, it's really not coming off very easily. And uh, if you do, it probably will ruin the grip tape. So you wanna make sure you get this uh, perfectly on the edges, hold it with your fingers on the edges of the grip tape and uh, try not to touch the, the fly trap stickiness. <laughs> so you slowly peel it away, making sure that the wind does not pull it. If you're doing this inside, it will be a lot easier. And once you take that first layer off, you will have your grip tape with the sticky side. Be extremely careful, hold the edges, and choose whether you wanna do back or front first. It doesn't really matter. Just put it down very, very, very gently right on the edge, make sure it's lined up. And while you're going down, all you need to do is, so make sure it's lined up, you can kind of eye it right there once you put the first little part down. And the real thing that's extremely important to not have air bubbles is to slowly push down with pressure while you're moving the skateboard grip tape. So do not just place it and slap it down, move from one side to the other, very slowly pushing down the grip tape. Now, if anything happens, you can pull the grip tape off. Be extremely careful while doing that. It can rip the grip tape. It can mess up the sticky part of the side. You can technically do it, so just be careful because once you apply the grip tape, it is extremely hard to take it off. The best thing to do is to push it down, making sure there is no air bubbles. If you're worried that there's still air bubbles, you can always take a truck with your wheels on it and slowly roll the board just like that and it will roll all the air bubbles out. I don't have any air bubbles on this because if you do it properly going from one side to the other in a slow, calm fashion, you shouldn't get any. However, if you do get an air bubble, which air bubble is a pocket of air that will be in the grip tape and it will kind of stick up like that uh, and it will be rather annoying. So if you do get one, you can't roll it out with the wheel, then you take your razor blade and you just poke it until the air comes out, pushing that down, roll it with the wheel and it should be good. So now that you have your first sheet on, you'll notice it's sticking off of both sides, the front and the back. This is when you take your razor blade, just like this. You cut the edges like so, very carefully. And remember, if you are trying to do this and you're young, please get a parent or guardian to use the razor blade part and help. let them help you with this. You can learn together. 
cut all the edges. It will make it a lot easier in the future, I promise you that. Now take your file and or skateboard truck, I'm gonna show both of them, and all you have to do is hold it at an angle and slowly rip at the edges, and you'll start to notice a line. Now this line is actually the crease of your board. You can see I'm following the board, and you can start to see the outline and shape of the skateboard right there. See the outline and the shape of the actual skateboard. That if you do not have a file or a skateboard tool with a file, you can always use a pair of trucks, and that works the same way. Just use the file on the side, and it should work the exact same way, and you can line up your board. Do that all the way around. Try not to go on top of the grip tape. Use it on the edge. You will, you will feel the edge of the skateboard as you pull, sanding it down. Do it on all edges. Now your skateboard should have that on the edges. It is the sanded onto the side. This will make your cutting with your razor blade way easier, way cleaner. And grip tape will look very nice when you do it like this. So before you do the razor blade, take the file to the edges. Now that we have sanded the edges onto the sides in the shape of the skateboard, this is when you take your box cutter or razor blade or knife. You, if you can use a knife, you can as well. As long as it has a sharp edge, pull it out. And you wanna start with any side you can. Slowly move it in to the point where your skateboard is not being cut. You do not wanna dig into the wood of your skateboard because that is extremely common. So don't dig into the wood of your skateboard and cut the beginning. Now, this is extremely important. You do not wanna freehand with just one hand. Grab the edge, just like that, of your grip tape. You see how this little tiny pocket is sticking out, you grab that and you hold it, and that's for leverage to actually make the cut cleaner. Slowly cut along the edge, moving your hand with it. So you can see I'm moving my hand as I cut, just like that. This. So you slowly cut on the right side of you, or if you're left-handed, cut whichever direction feels comfortable for you. Do not cut into the board while holding up this. I've already sanded that down, so make sure you're very light on it. You do not want to cut into the skateboard. All you have to do is do that all the way around. So I'm going to just do that really quickly and finish this grip tape. In my examples, I'm using a shaped skateboard. However, this all applies to whatever type of skateboard you are using. And there you go. What you want to do now is you want to take that excess skateboard grip tape that you just cut off of your board. As example, here is mine. I put it all in a nice pile. You want to fold it, make it comfortable and then you are going to take this and you are going to sand the edges at a nice angle to make sure that this grip tape stays on the skateboard because if you don't sand the edges there is a possibility that your grip tape could come up if it hits anything or anything like that so this will actually keep the grip tape on the skateboard because you're sanding it more into the board on the edges just like so end result should look just like this and that is how you put on your skateboard grip tape for my second example which is these pieces all cut out placed on the board the only thing extra you will need besides the first two things that I told you which are a razor blade a skateboard tool a file of any type is a pair of scissors now you don't have to have a pair of scissors you can use the razor blade to cut the lines into the grip tape, thus separating them into separate pieces. However, I feel like this is a safer way if you're just starting out and trying to do this by yourself. Get a pair of scissors, preferably not your mom's scissors because this ruins scissors, cutting your grip tape. So find a pair of old scissors, go get a pair of scissors if you have to. Uh, scissors can be very cheap at certain stores. They can be a dollar to two dollars max. Get that if you are still a little nervous with the razor blade. And in the future, I will be doing a way more in-depth part of the custom grip tape. However, I'm showing you this as a quick example that you can do easily. I just cut straight lines. I cut into four separate pieces. One, two, three, four. Now, what's fun about this is you can put them in any order you want. You can switch them up. You can put them this way. You can put them that way. All kinds of stuff. And it will always work because it's the same sheet of grip tape just spread out throughout the board with lines. So that being said, I actually have the order that I want ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you that right now. Like I said, it is the exact same as the other skateboard. You're going to use the edges. You're gonna peel them off, except they're gonna be shorter sheets. And this is a lot more easy because there's a lot more lean way. You can mess up and it can still come out really sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now and I will show you 
There you go, that's one little square on. Then I'm going to take the second square, and I put it here. I also recommend lining all of it up beforehand to make sure that's the look that you're going for. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to do it that way so you're not uh, putting it on and not knowing what you're doing as the sticky part is out. Line it up before and then place it. So I'm leaving little tiny lines because the top of my skateboard is actually green and I wanna showcase the green lines in my skateboard. Now these lines will have absolutely zero effect on your skateboarding. These lines are such a small little circumference uh, of the actual part of the skateboard grip tape so it will not mess you up in any way. So these lines right here, don't worry about them. You can have a lot of lines on your skateboard as long as they're small your grip tape will work, I promise. Boom, I have all my pieces on and I'm going to do the exact same technique, which is the sanding and then cutting of this grip tape. Here we go. Sand down the edges and we are good to go. Whether you are at home or at a skate park, clean up your trash, it is the right thing to do. Please do not litter. All you have to do is poke your holes in your skateboard grip tape, put your trucks on and you're ready to skateboard. So. Uh, Let's do that. Let's skateboard. Let's have some fun. She don't look quite right, but I could care less. I love it when she puts on that khaki colored dress. That is how you grip your skateboard. I hope that helped in any way. If you have any more questions, please leave it down below in the comment section uh, or go to your local skate shop, ask for questions there, ask for guidance, help. That's never a problem. Always, always ask. Don't be afraid and don't be ashamed to ask for help. I will always say that. That is a good motto to live by. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please like this, uh, share it with a friend you also think would enjoy this video. It really helps me and it helps the channel out a lot and it lets me do more things like this. So this was extremely fun to do today. Uh, thank you guys again. Please subscribe if you have not already. Turn on that bell notification so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay alive. I love skateboarding.